Welcome back to All Indiana. So much fun. Mixologist Brett Butler is here, and I'm pumped. We are making Valentine's Day cocktails. Easy to do. You could do yep. this for your sweetheart. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Okay, so I know we're going to make three cocktails. We're going to make two cocktails. Two cocktails. Yeah. Okay, let's make two. And what are awesome. they called? They look gorgeous. Which so the out. first one we're going to make is called A Kiss from a Rose. So it's a raspberry lemon drop riff. Okay. So a little few more things added to it. And then the second is going to be a smoked old fashioned. Okay. So you got like couples cocktails. Right. A lot of guys, I know like the fruity stuff and the ladies like bourbon. So I'm not judging like however Isn't you want to do it. But kind of a little bit of both. Yeah. So. And it, I know dudes really do sometimes like the sweeter yeah. stuff. And that's they won't all. admit it, but you know, like, oh, like. <laughs> all right, let's get to it. Let's, let's get rolling. What do we need to make? Yep, absolutely. Do you do virtual stuff too if people want you to guide guide them through? I do. They're trying to say, I don't know what to do for Valentine's Day, yeah. but I need a date idea last minute. So my mixology classes are have been at like at the core of my business, a big hit. So okay. I do virtual classes online. Uh, I do them in person, and they're just a lot of fun. So we get you involved. It's very immersive, and you kind of get to do what what we're going to do right now. And so we kind of teach cool you how to do tools. it. Cool tools. Right, <laughs> so we got a lot of stuff on rose. fire, right? <laughs> So kiss for a rose. So yeah. basically it starts out just very simple. So we got some fresh raspberries. You can get these anywhere, right? Okay. We're going to do about three or four raspberries. Okay. Little raspberries. So yeah, ready. it's going to be nice and red and fruity. And then we're going to take some fresh rosemary. I used to, like, if you really love rosemary, three sprigs, two, it doesn't matter. It smells I mean, so good. I can yeah. Just it so you're going to do this. You wake it up a little bit, right? Oh. You express the essential oils, and that's kind of what that does. And you're going to throw it in. I don't do that. You give it a little slap. A little slap, slap okay. some herbs. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to throw that in there. And then I have a, this is a vanilla honey syrup. Okay. So these are homemade. So I sell my elixirs online. Nice. Uh, we can chat about that, like where do you get them later. But this is <clears throat> exactly that. It's a simple syrup. So vanilla, honey. Right. So we're going to do an ounce of this. So he makes this look so cool when he gets all the things in there. All right. Yeah. So the whole idea of a, a, a kind of a balanced cocktail is, so if you have something sweet, you're going to have something citrus. And it's just all about balance in all terms right. of a cocktail. Just but, like in life, all about like, balance. Exactly. Okay. Um, so we're going to do some lemon juice, fresh lemon juice, and that's about three quarters of an ounce. Ooh, this one is going to not I too know, much. Right on up. Nice, some like citrus, <laughs> nice sour. Uh, okay. So once you have all that, then we're going to start muddling. So what you want to do with this? I love is, a good muddle. You know, I'm yeah, a big mojito fan. I that, like no. the rum, so I like the yes. We like do, nothing wrong with doing a little bit of work, you know. <laughs> you get Put in some there. elbow I'm into ready it. To learn how to muddle. All right, exactly. Yes. Exactly. So what we're doing here is we're getting the raspberries and the rosemary, and you just want to kind of make it, like mash it up. Just express as much of the flavor as you can as possible. Okay. Once we're good with that, then we're going to add our booze, the good stuff. So vodka, this is a, uh, this vodka has citrus and saffron. Wow. So saffron, I didn't know goes in spirits, but apparently Valentine's Day, I didn't know if you know this, saffron's an aphrodisiac. It is. So, okay, okay. you did, okay, yeah. I did so, not know that. So we're getting we really, oysters, val really saffron. saucy here. Have yourself a nice night. <laughs> exactly, <That's good. laughs> okay. exactly. So two ounces of this, but yes. if you're at home, Valentine's, couple's night, yes. two-ish whatever yeah, you, you want to do and then this is really good so okay. this i found through cardinal spirits down in bloomington Ooh, okay this is called flora so right. this is a liqueur made from raspberries and edible flowers i love it let's shake it up we have about two yeah. minutes because i want to get to this little fashion because you know i want to use this torch yep so we <laughs> have three quarters of that okay. so once you have all that we're gonna add a little bit of fee foam so what this does mm -hmm. is it's almost like egg white so it's going to give a little froth to the cocktail oh. and Boom. this is the little part here, real quick. Okay. All okay. right. And the rest? Yep. Oh, God. You guys, you guys just hold on to it. <laughs> <laughs> then you can have some real fun at home. You we got it. All right. So you guys perfect. shake it up. Perfect. That down. Glad that didn't explode everywhere. That was great. That's right. Okay. It's, it's like it's I'm course, teaching okay. a class here. You're awesome. So. Oh, look how yeah. pretty that color is, too. So we're going to oh do a little gosh, bit of that. Gorgeous. Now, we got a little bit of spritz. This is elderflower spritz. So when you drink it, you're going to smell it as it's going in. This is like next level. Okay, let's speed through this old fashioned. You got it. Old fashioned. Right. You got to pronounce it like that. Old fashioned. So pretty. I love yeah. it. Okay, I mean, so I'm impressed. You got your your bourbon. This. Okay. Three that's ounces bourbon. of the bourbon. A lot of people that's big two. bourbon fans. That's three mm -hmm. ounces of the bourbon. This is a vanilla cinnamon maple syrup that I make. Oh, I Brings it. out all the flavors of the bourbon. That's about three quarters of an ounce. We got Angostura bitters. 
Two oh, dashes, black walnut bitters, a little bit of difference, some kind of like nutty flavor. Boom, right. stir it around. I love the ice cube. You can start doing that right now. Now we're going to smoke this up. So these are cherry wood chips, a little bit of dried rosemary. Just gives a little more complexity and a little bit of uh, more flavor and some smoke to the glass. Get the smoke. Get we're good. <laughs> Should I stop? Or? Stop. Yeah, you're good. So. <laughs> well, we're on a time crunch, so we're trying to give you a little bit of everything. So what you're doing, you're just smoking the glass a little bit while you're stirring. Okay. Boom. Now we're going to seal that in real quick. Once you have really that fun. done, then it should be together. I love it. I know. Okay. Then you turn that over. Yes. We got the ice cube, we got the big large ice cube. ice cube. We're going to do our garnish, some luxardo yeah. cherries. Bada and bing, bada boom. You're going to pour that right in there, a nice complex smoked wow. maple old fashioned. Where can everybody track you down to find out more information? Cheers. So I'm on uh, Facebook at Alchemy Life, A L C O, like alcohol, my life. Also on Instagram or my website's alchemyexperience.com. I do mixology classes, private events, corporate. You're the man. You name it. Cheers. 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 Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Alexis, Valentine's Day. over to you. Hey, mixing it up. We like it. One